Now first off, shameless plug, um, these shirts and a whole bunch of other stuff, it'll be dropping soon, so it's in the works. Uh, just stay tuned to Numskull Soiree on Instagram, well numskull.soiree on Instagram, link's always in the bio, I'm not even going to put it up on the screen, but the link is in the bio, or in the description, I'm sorry. What's percolating YouTube? It's your boy Bash Superstar. I'll be back with another video. So, my sneaker collection video is coming soon. But today, I'm gonna show y'all my girl's top 10 favorite sneakers in her collection. Um, she didn't want to be on camera, so it is what it is. Um, honestly, I don't even know how many shoes she has. I'm pretty sure she has at least 20, but these will be her top 10 favorite shoes. Um, she told me the top three, so the other seven, I'm just gonna do in random order, I guess. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Dislike the video, leave a thumbs down. Share the video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe. So we on the road to 1K, your boy trying to get paid. Comment down below, what's your favorite out of her favorite 10? Also, if you wanna be featured on my channel, showing off your collection, just comment that down below or hit me up on Instagram, either way. So, let's get into the video. First up, uh, so um, yeah, I'm gonna start with these since they're right here. These are Stranger Things Cortez. Um, this light is probably too bright, but Stranger Things Cortez, they had these at the Nike outlet. So yeah, if you don't know that the that like this beige part, it peels off and it's like a denim underneath. So yeah, I'm waiting for the season to come back. So I think it's supposed to come back come back in August or something. But yeah. So Stranger Things Cortez number ten. Well, I mean I ain't gonna say number ten because he's not in really any particular order. So yeah, Stranger Things Cortez. Next up we got. Vapor Max 97 or 97 Vapor Max. Um, I'll put the actual name up on the screen, but yeah, um, she used to wear these a lot. She ain't really worn these in a while. Um, I think she thought they were lost, but they were just in the box. So yeah, I all like the mashup shoes. These might be like one of the best ones. Um, so yeah, black, purple. White, 3M, all 97s have the 3M piping on them. I know they'll be shining right now. While we're talking about 97s, I'll just show y'all these two. These like a copper colorway of the 97s. Um, 3M is still shining. Well, I'm telling you, boy, these look like a brand new penny. Y'all y'all ever got a brand new penny? And, and that should be shining? Um, I mean, it's not really, really the same color as the penny, but it's close enough to it. So yeah. 97s, I don't even think that she worn these yet. Nah, these these still brand new. I'm pretty sure these came from an outlet too. Um most of our pickups they came from outlets because you not work at an outlet, so E. Another outlet pickup. Um I don't know what the actual name of these are, but these were part of the a fearless Jordan collection. The the women's ones. Like this sequins all, all over it. You come with extra white shoelaces and some red shoelaces that I had to take and put in another shoe. Y'all will see that in my collection. But um, yeah, she hasn't worn these yet neither. I think we, I think she got these the same time that she got them copper a ninety seven. Or I could be wrong. But yeah, Air Jordan One Fearless Outlet Pickup. Yeah, since I already got these on my hand, I'm gonna show these. Y'all already know how I feel about these shoes. If you didn't watch the video for these, I'll put it up as a card. I don't know what side it should be on, but I'll put it up as a card. I picked these up for $45 at, at the Loop in Orlando, well, in Kissimmee, but um, yeah, she, she still thinks that this is like a green olive color, and I keep trying to tell her it's like it's, it's, it's gray, it's a very charcoal gray. But anyways, um, I don't even know the last time that she's worn these, but as you can see from the bottoms, they haven't been worn much. So yeah, Shadow Tens, 
are one of my favorites. Next up, a shoe that I need in my collection, the Habanero Foam Posits. I'm pretty sure that these are the Habaneros because they look like a Habanero Chili Pepper or a, a Habanero Pepper. Oh, shit. So, yeah, I still don't have these. The light is really too bright for this, but, um, yeah. As you can see, it's like iridescent, kind of. It, like, changes from, like, orange to, like, a gold-yellow color. It looks like a sunset, honestly, but, well, not a sunset. Like, if you stare at the sun, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's just a very bright orange and black shoe. So, yeah, she hasn't worn these yet, either. Honestly, I think these were a return, because, um, it's a pebble on the bottom, and I know she hasn't worn these. And they were in a Nike Air Force One box when I found them, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these were a return, but either way, they're basically brand new. I think one, yeah, this one is still a factory lace for the most part, so whoever tried this on, they just put their foot in it, but yeah, hop and narrow, phone posits. This will be the last shoe before her top three. Um, Red 11s. Um, these were not out of pickup. We got these on the raffle. I want to say Ultima Mall. Bread 11s, you can't go wrong with some bread 11s. <sighs> Number three, a shoe that she's been dying to wear. She finally wore them today. Tailwind 4s or Air Max Tailwind 4s. Um, these shoes are so freaking comfortable. Like, if you don't have a pair of Tailwinds, I suggest you find some. Just, just go to a Nike outlet. I'm pretty sure you can find a pair of these in your size at any Nike outlet. So, maybe not this color. Maybe not the best of colors, but you'll find a pair. And even if you don't like the color, just try them on and then go find you a pair that you like. But I wish these, I wish they had these in man sizes or in my size at least. Now, um, one of those times when Nike was having one of them big ass sales during the quarantine, um, they were having, having like up to 50% off of clearance. So the shoes were already on sale. Then there were an additional discount on top of that, and then my employee discount on top of that. I don't remember how much these came to, but I'm pretty sure they were like under $40, $50. So if you know a Nike employee in your family or your friends, um, whenever Nike is doing deals, just, just hit them up and see what they can do for you. Anyway, so yeah, Air Max Tailwind Fours, comfortable shoe, slept on shoe, you need a pair if you don't have a pair. Yeah. Now for the top two, one of them, I don't have anymore and I wish I do. I wish I did because the prices skyrocketed on these. Um, well, all Jordan ones do. So, Turbo Green ones, yes. Uh, when these came out, I did win a raffle for them. Well, back then, I feel like everybody got these. But yeah, I, I got her size and my size in raffles. Um, I'm pretty sure she paid for both of them. Did she or did I pay? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But anyways, um, I sold mine a long time ago. Um, wish I still had them. But these, y'all know these go for like $500. In kid sizes, these go for $500. Some kid sizes go for more than, go for more than the man sizes. She's, she's worn these a lot, but you can't really tell, honestly. And then the bottoms. The bottoms, they were not really, even really dirty, so. Um, I try to tell her to take care of her shoe, toss that to the side, she'll be all right. And her favorite shoe that she has not worn yet, the Biohacks. I wish she would've got these for retail, but it happens. So go, I'm pretty sure the price has gone up since she's bought these, so I guess she bought them at the, at, at the right time. But every sneaker event, well, not well, not now, but when, when these first came out, every sneaker event, we at least seen five people wearing these on feet. It was on everybody's table. Um, this one of them shoes that's kind of ugly because it's too many colors for, for some people. Um, for me, this shoe was fire. Yeah, so I do need a pair of these. If anybody got a size 12, 12 and a half out there, holla at you, boy. But yeah. But this one from shoes that's probably gonna skyrocket in price one day. Uh, maybe not now, but you know, most Jordan ones do. And crazy colors like these, you 
you gotta buy these early before the price start going up. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna do it for this video. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Dislike the video, leave a thumbs down. Share the video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe. We're gonna roll to 1K. Your boy trying to get paid. Comment down below if you want to show off your sneaker collection on my channel. If you're in like the Orlando, Daytona, Jacksonville, Tampa area, um, let's make it happen, man. It's your boy, Best Superstar, signing out. Y'all be breezy, man. All right.